I don't see any other buttons on there, so I don't know what's wrong with it. We have it now. Does everybody else have an updated or amended agenda? The agenda. Somebody would like to make motions to move to the agenda by the ten ups to discuss it. It's um, so Get a second by motion by Tim Young, seconded by Joanna Letta to move the zoning enforcement off the language department. Agenda item 10 up to agenda item 5, right? Is there any discussion on this? All in favor? Just a question about yes, does the town need to have this? CEO that has some certification in zoning enforcement? Or... No, we're just making sure you move it up if anything is okay. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Mm -hmm. All in favor of uh, moving the agenda item up? Aye. 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 Any opposition? That's what passes. Now we can have some discussion here. You would probably be better first in answering the question. So the law does require that the zoning officer be HAVIO certified, but Tish, ID, I'm not sure how they pronounce the name, they do have certified zoning officers, and Zoe Chapman will be going through the courses. And she'll be overseen by John Kelsey, and he's certified. Oh, okay, that's all I wanted to see if on the record say that uh, John Kiskowski would be kind of the certified agent that Zoe would be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, he did mention that, John mentioned that she is going to get her certification. It, and Taiki has it's kind of a team approach from that firm working with the town. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Make a motion to accept Zoe Chatfield as a circuit uh, minor um, working under the zoning office, zoning office for the town, under the auspices of Taiki and uh, consulting. Firm. Second. To get that, I can hear any turned up too. Um, motion to accept the chat fields is the zoning enforcement officer working on the supervision of Taiki Plan. Uh, I do have a letter seconded by Tim Young. Is there any discussion on this matter? Hearing none. All in favor? 
Thank you. But uh, I know that I can't find it. Thank you. No. <laughs> Ready for my clock to break 7.45 so we can open the public hearing. <clears throat> my clock is like blocking the clock. We can hurt the toilet. You know, I think it's dinner at five. Public hearing. It's in regards to commit number 659-09-23, Loose Document Associates, Chair of Robert Rieger, 94 Plain Hill, three lot three, three subdivision. Applicant, we have representative of the speaker. Uh, can I interrupt, Mr. Chairman? I have a conflict. I don't, I don't know if it's a conflict here. I provide heating and plumbing service work for being on Woodstock Hill. I just want to make sure that's clear if anyone's uncomfortable. I can see the I don't I don't believe that heating and plumbing would be any kind of a conflict here. Just make sure it's clear everyone understands. I agree with Dwight. I don't think it's a conflict. I agree. Okay. okay. Thank you, Doug. Uh, so, good evening, Pete Parent, professional engineer with CHA, representing the applicant. Um, so I'm sure you're all very familiar with the, the Woodstock Hill property on Plain Hill Road here off of 169. Um, the main in building is at the north end of the site. Uh, there's an existing cottage kind of center of the site on Plain Hill Road, and the proposed development would be all to the south of that along the road turns of Plain Hill. So the proposal is to break off two new residential lots, both about 1.4 acres in size, uh, on the south side of the existing development. Uh, 
Uh, so traditional lot um, design, um, septics in the front, wells in the back, um, fairly long driveways with turnarounds, garages on the opposite sides of the house. Um, the, the lots have a, a pretty gentle slope um, from the center of the lot <clears throat> out to Plain Hill and then from the center of the lot back to the wetlands into the west. Um, that's going to be relatively maintained um, based on the development. I'm just doing a little bit of grading here in order to get our it's all you know, relatively straightforward. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have, um, but I think it's all pretty easy, much routine stuff here. Uh, we did receive some comments back from Delia and some comments back from Design Professionals, which we provided a response to today. Um, and I believe we're still waiting on wetlands to approve. And so I think, I don't know if we can close the public hearing tonight, but um, certainly free to answer any questions you have. Thank you. Uh, open it up to commissioners. Any questions, Mr. Parent? <clears throat> now, the original design you came up with was hooking into the sewer line. Is correct. That correct. Yep. Um, about how much would that have cost? Uh, I I don't specifically know the cost to connect into the sewer. I think the the connection fee for a residential property is around ten thousand dollars a lot, and then you would have had to, you know, run a a main extension up from the the line that serves the hill, the inn. Um, but the, the real crux of the opposition there was that the WPCA said that we couldn't connect into that. Okay, so you're saying the original design. Would have been about 10, 11, 12 grand to hook into the per lot. Well, yeah, that would have been a connection fucking cost on top of that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's say 15,000. Okay. It's just a pipe. Yep. So presumably that'd be added to the price of the lot. Yeah. Who is ever selling the lot? 15 grand. All right. Now you've got a redesign here with a septic system, mm -hmm. how much roughly would that cost? A uh, residential septic system currently is somewhere in the twenty-five to $30,000 range. Twenty-five to 30000 So presumably that will be added to the price of the lot. Well, I mean, I, I think these lots would either be developed by the inn or they would be sold as lots to be developed by, you know, private right. owner. So we it's it's construction cost that you know the eventual developer has to incur, um, but it's not necessarily added to the price of the cost per se. <laughs> I'm trying to make a point. I, I I understand. Yes, I'm trying to make a point that installing an on-site septic system rather than hooking in to the existing sewer line ultimately costs more money. Yes. Now we spent months coming up with an affordable housing plan in this town. And this to me is contrary to an affordable housing. That's the, I have no problem with your design of your septic system on a three acre lot. I've done 50, 60 of them myself, but they've never been on a sewer line. Now, directly or indirectly, every taxpayer in Woodstock is paying for that sewer. And we're not utilizing Thank, Thanks, Joe. It, it's, thank you for making the point, but it's not okay. It's not okay. Pretty sure that Mr. Pennant agrees everything you said. But the two of you, unfortunately, can't change it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Which I want to check with you. Yeah. 
begins at all the questions from the side of my phones have been adequately answered. I've only received the revisions today at four o'clock. I didn't have time oh, to right. okay. I'll just make a quick comment, I think, for CHA. Uh, the response today, uh, I, I think you might have a long reference. Okay. So you're talking about the uh, Woodstock Academy South Campus parking as the uh, Oh, in the, the, the reference, yeah. <laughs> so, but all the body is relative to yeah. the Plainfield Road. Okay. Just for the record, I think it's yes. nice to have it like the Absolutely, we can update that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you said you were waiting for Inland Wetlands final approval? Yeah, so uh, we, we had a typo on the application document for the state. Um, so Wellens didn't take up our, our application this past month. So I need to go to them. Okay. That suggests maybe tabling a public hearing until the next one. Continue. Oh, continue? Yes. Continue. Yeah. Because we need more information for it. need to have the event with it. And also, I'd like to review what was in Sure. You won't well, before we do that, I would suggest we ask if any if there's anyone from the community who would like I, to speak or here tonight. Mr. Crack, are you done? Yes. Okay. Anyone from the public who would like to speak? Okay. Thank you. We make a motion to continue the public hearing. So we'll be back home. I second that. Are we okay on timeline? Yes. That'd be the 16th, right? That'd be the 16th at 745 and 8 Motion by Joe Alletta to continue the public hearing on the November 16th at 7.45, seconded by Tim Young. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I will abstain. That so passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. That brings us to agenda item. 11 is new business permit number SP 660 10 23 Woodstock Sustainable Farms and Raft Port, the Pope Rock River event and money facility morning agriculture. Simply need to schedule a public hearing for that. Motion to schedule a public hearing for. The special permit application for November 16 at 745. Your second. Second. Motion by Joe Adelaide, seconded by Tim Young. Schedule of public hearing. We stock sustaining the farms November 16th at 745. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank And I forgot to get the grand total today, but how many days is it spring? We still have five. You're wearing a shirt, so I think you're disappointed about it. Very hopeful. Yeah. Um, bring us to agenda item 12, which is old business that looks like in associates, three lot sub redivision, three lot three subdivision. And we obviously tables a public hearing until next month. So can't do the old business. We've already taken care of item. 13, 14, 15 brings us to the ZEO report, which I didn't see any of those either. Anybody else? Yeah. That was 
Anybody has any questions on any of this? I can relay them to the CEO of the CEO's office to answer so. Budget review and build agenda item. Well, did pay a bill for Bear with me. I didn't pay the bill actually. I approved the payment of Stonebridge Press for it escapes of what it was for something that we just recently. I think it was a lot minor just. Um, are there any citizens' comments? Then I am 13. Hearing none, we move on to in the item 14 is correspondence. Um, there is a land use commissioner training sponsored by Clear and NECA Wednesday. November 29th at 6 30 p.m. in the Clutter Municipal Complex. This is going to be still one and a half hours of our required training. Is that is there any call about in that? No, I think it's one of the eight. Uh, uh, if anybody has done any training, send that up to Tracy. Hopefully, she can put it. Some people supposedly agree that it's only going to keep track of that. We uh, won't get scolded by it. Is this uh, attendance only or doing the care? I think it's in person. Okay. And uh, you sent the email out for the registration. Yeah. If you're going to go, they ask if you actually go online to register. And if you want a copy of what's legally required, that's the book that we refer to. You can order it through that thing, that registration, and they'll bring it to the meeting. They can bring it. And I believe the town will reimburse the top of the book. I think. Could be teaching this thing, so. I'm going to be there, but there's someone who's been hired to do these trainings, so I'll be able to answer questions. Would it be appropriate or inappropriate? Maybe they'd be sending an announcement to some other candidates running for the PPP? Sure. Yeah. 
Sure. Give I don't know who they are or have their email, but if you know of a way to share it with them, sure. It's a very good idea. Yeah, I mean, just give them a head start. Yep. And when you register, there's a questionnaire so you can fill out what topics you're interested in. Um, NECOG um, is thinking of doing other training, so we'd like to know what people would like to hear about, and then we will provide some training. Do you think NECOG would be a resource for doing the required mission or training at some point, or does that have to be an internal training? No, so, well, we could do it. We could do that. Okay. So it's good to go over the basics, like how to read a site plan and yeah. the scale. And so I've taught those classes before. You know, the problem of uh, stuff on the agenda brings us to the next 15 item agenda. Agenda item 15. Move to adjourn. Second. Move to adjourn. Motion by Tim Young, second by Clay Ryan. All in favor? Aye. Good afternoon. I'm not abstaining on that one. Thank you, I'll do that. Thank you everyone. Close the meeting down. See everybody in a couple of weeks. November 2nd. I'm <laughs> <laughs>